Interesting TCM and Acupuncture. The study of meridians in clinical acupuncture disseminating several key issues. The 12 standard meridians and eight extraordinary channels in treatment, standard meridians and eight extraordinary channels compared. Contents. One, the 12 standard meridians and eight extraordinary channels comparison. Two, the internal classic discussion of three types of circulation of the meridians and channels discusses the following structure. Three, how do people who practice martial arts routine fight effectively in the battlefield? Meridians and collaterals in the study of acupuncture, clinical usage, and principles of practice. Part one, the 12 standard meridians and eight extraordinary channel comparison. One, the spiritual pivot chapter 10 on meridians and vessels. This chapter discusses the circulation of the meridians, specifically in relation to the lung, large intestine, stomach, spleen, heart, small intestine, bladder, kidney, pericardium, triple burner, gallbladder, and liver. 1.1. Eight extraordinary channels do not engage in the circulation of nutritive blood in the 12 meridians. 1.2. The eight extraordinary channels have their own circulation order, including the Ren and Du channels, which meet at the coccyx, the Dai channel, which connects the waist and abdomen, the Chong channel, which runs up the center of the Ren and Du from the womb, it directly connects upward to the top of the head, the Chiao and Wei channels, which connect the entire body. 1.3. The eight extraordinary channels do not have a direct relationship with the organs and viscera. They're used to treat the illnesses of the whole body. 1.4. The eight extraordinary channels also cannot fulfill the requirements of the 12 standard meridians in the following three ways. Location, upper and lower, limbs, and yin and yang. Du and Ren channel comparison. Overall character. The Ren and Du channels meet together with the Chong channel at the womb. It's said that the three branches have one origin. The body surface expresses this meeting at the Chu Gu point. The Ren channel rises from the Chu Gu point and directly passes the abdomen and chest front in the precise center. Then it finishes at the lower lip of the Chengjiang point. The Du channel leaves from the Chu Gu point and passes the Hui Yin. It rises along the tailbone at the Changqiang point, then ascends the spine rising to the crown of the head at the Bai Hui point. Then it passes Su Liao and Ren Zhong and ends above the teeth at the Yin Jiao point. The eight extraordinary channels Ren and Du have their own acupoints, but the rest of the extraordinary channels do not. All of the acupoints on those channels are Jiao Hui meeting points. So in total, the Ren and Du channels have their own points. And along with the 12 upright meridians, they make up the 14 meridians. Special characteristics, classifying the eight extraordinary channels. The Ren and Du channels have yin and yang characteristics, but no organ and viscera relationships or points on the arms and legs. So they're understood as extraordinary channels. Uh, i.e. unusual as compared to the 12 meridians. The Du and Ren channels control all of the yin and yang of the body. The Du channel controls all of the yang meridians of the body. There are six strips of yang meridians which meet at the Jiao Hui point, which is a meeting point of Da Jui. It also adjusts the blood and qi of the yang meridians. Thus, it's called the sea of yang meridians. The Ren channel moves down the exact center front of the body. It belongs to the yin of the abdomen and chest. It adjusts the yin meridians and its qi and blood is called the sea of yin meridians. It controls the sexual function. The Du channel relates to the use of the penis in males and the Ren channel adjusts the yin meridians, qi and blood. It meets with the Chong and Dai and controls the menstrual cycle. It treats mental illness and illnesses of the head and nape and heat illnesses. Chong and Dai channel comparison. Overall character. Chong and Dai channel free treat full body illnesses, gynecology and other women's illnesses. Chong and Dai channels do not have a yin and yang or zang and fu relationship. Special features. The Chong channel treats women's issues such as menzies and pregnancy. The Dai meridian treats women's issues such as post-pregnancy discharge. Wei and Chiao channel comparison. Overall character. They rise from the inner heel and outer heel and finish at the interior corner of the eyes and exterior corner of the eyes. They strengthen the three yin meridians and ren channel and the three yang meridians and du channel. 
They treat whole body illnesses and they do not relate to zhang and fu illnesses. Special characteristics. The Wei channel ties together the yin and yang of exterior and interior. It is the internal body, when is the internal body is injured, the yin wei channel is used. If the external body is affected, the yang wei is used. The chow channels treat movement and sleep issues. If the external aspect of the lower limbs becomes tight and the interior flaccid, the yang chow is moved. If the opposite occurs, the yin chow is used. Two. The internal classic discussion of the three types of circulation of the meridians and channels discusses the following structure. One, it enters toward the heart. The movement toward the heart is the earliest understanding of the circulation of the meridian chi relative to clinical practice. In 1973, there was an excavation of the funerary site at Ma Wang Dui in Changsha, Hubei upon which the foot and arm 11 meridian moxibustion classic and yin yang 11 meridian moxibustion classic were discovered. These documents are believed to have been written more than 2300 years ago before the Qin dynasty and 2200 years ago before the Han dynasty. The Zhang family mountain bamboo scrolls contained the book of pulses and the yin yang 11 meridian moxibustion classic while the spiritual pivot ben shu chapter 2 is an extension of the concept of the 11 meridian moxibustion classic the internal classic spiritual pivot original points chapter 2 mentions the five transport points of jing ying shu jing and he and their flow they are at the ends of the four limbs and at the knee and elbow their arrangement is frequently used in clinic as part of the major theory of acupuncture. Two, lung and liver circulation of nutritive blood. This concept emerges from the spiritual pivot chapter 10 on the meridians and vessels. In that chapter, the circulation is explained as being related to the lung, large intestine, stomach, spleen, heart, small intestine, bladder, kidney, pericardium, triple burner, gallbladder, liver and lung in that order. This flow from liver to lung is the closed circuit of nutritive blood in the body and is not the model of the chi and meridians. The 12 standard meridians circulate nutritive blood and this is what is expressed in the meridians and vessels chapter 10 of the internal classic. The 12 standard meridians relate to the zang and fu organs and how they relate to the lower and upper limbs. They can be used to treat illnesses of the zang and fu of the, and the limbs. Three, the eight extraordinary channel circulation. The Ren and Du channels emerge at the coccyx and circulate. The Dai channel circulates around the waist and back. The Chong channel runs up between the Ren and Du to the vertex. The Qiao and Wei channels run the entire length of the body. The eight extraordinary channels are explained in the classic of difficulties. They were not associated with the Zhang and Fu organs and they were used to treat the entire body. The three channels of Ren, Chong, and Du in the Simple Questions Bone Emptiness discussion of the internal classic, chapter 60, were discussed in relation to the other five vessel discussions. It is more complete. The Dai Meridian circulates and treats illnesses and is discussed in the internal classic Spiritual Pivot Meridian Differentiation, chapter 7. The internal classic Simple Questions Placidity discussion, chapter 42, uh, the Internal Classic Simple Questions uh, Placidity Discussion, Chapter 44, and later in the Internal Classic of Difficulties, 28th Difficulty, the Pulse Classic, uh, Die Channels of the Dissertation of the Eight Extraordinary Channels, the Renmen Shu Qin, and other historical documents. The Yin and Yang Qiao Channels are discussed in the Spiritual Pivot Vessel Appraisal Chapter, Number 17, the spiritual pivot cold and hot illness chapter number 21, the simple questions pricking discussion chapter 63, and later in the classic of difficulties 28th difficulty, the Jia Yi acupuncture and moxibustion classic, the great achievement of acupuncture, and the dissertation of the eight extraordinary channels. The yin and yang wei are first seen in the simple questions pricking the waste discussion, chapter 41, and later in the classic of difficulties, 28th difficulty, 29th difficulty, the pulse classic, volume two, the great achievement of acupuncture and the dissertation on the eight extraordinary channels. It's possible to see the Ren, Du, and Chong channels, as well as the 12 standard meridians in the internal classic, are already fully complete, while the other five channels have yet to be fully disseminated. Later in history, during the Ming Dynasty, Li Shijian penned the dissertation on the Eight Extraordinary Channels in 1578. From 2000 years ago, the internal classic until 
1578 with the eight extraordinary channels dissertation, the concept gradually matured and has continued to mature over these most recent 500 years. Summary. Chinese ancient medicine discovered unique functional characteristics of the human body and a way to describe it through the meridian system. Without the use of dissection, they were able to develop a philosophical understanding of the movement of materials in the body and how the body is connected to the four limbs along a road uh, connected by the meridians. In 1972 at Ma Wang Dui, the foot and shoulder 11 meridian moxibustion classic and yin and yang 11 meridian moxibustion classic were discovered. In later generations after the writings of these texts, they were a gradual refinement of knowledge of the zhang and fu organs in clinical treatment, and the theory of the four limbs jing qi moving toward the heart was gradually established, which was eventually refined to explain how the organ and viscera related to the five offices and established the jing and hu circulation system. We can see in the spiritual pivot that there are five chapters which discuss the meridians, and within these chapters, there are three which focus on the Jing and Ho circulation system. The first chapter is in the original points, chapter two, which discusses Jing Qi moving toward the heart via the five shoe points. The second chapter is root and knot, chapter five, which discusses the Jing, Jing Qi moving toward the heart. The fourth chapter is the protective Qi, chapter 52, which discusses Qi moving toward the heart. The spiritual pivot has a chapter discussing lung and liver circulation in the meridian and vessel chapter 10. It explains the meridians and vessels arise from the greater yin lung meridian and end in the terminal yin liver meridian, circulating in the entire body without stop. At the same time in history, there had already been a several hundred year development of the concept of blood circulation in clinical medicine as understood as a closed circuit in the body. This is presented in the spiritual pivot as nutritive blood which circulates within the lung and liver circuit. Ancient medicine discovered that these channels did not specifically go from the organs and viscera to the extremities, but were instead associated with illnesses of the entire body. Thus, they designed the model of the eight extraordinary vessels in the internal classic. Their form is described, and later they were gradually defined in each generation until completion. After, the, after this, the meridians and collaterals were fully established, and this served as the essential model for the circulation of qi in the body. This is how the relationship between the body and clinical effectiveness were developed initially. Because study methods and research are different, Historical interpretations of the meridians and collaterals have three types of interpretation of their circulation. These include Jing and Hua circulation, in which the meridian qi moves toward the heart, lung and liver circulation, in which the nutritive blood performs a closed circuit within the body, and eight extraordinary channel circulation, with special, was, which was special among the three. These three circulations are used differently in clinical practice. Lung and liver circulation holds that the nutritive blood circulation within the body can be used to perform treatment. It holds that proximal points and distal points should be chosen with special points being chosen in distal locations. However, the nutritive blood and meridian chi circulate without stop, so there's no way to illustrate special hand methods within this system. This, uh, thus, in such cases where this is needed, we may use the Jing and Ho circulation in which the meridian qi moves toward the heart. It can use acupuncture hand methods which allow the qi to arrive at the illness. The eight extraordinary channel circulation can treat illness of the entire body. The three circulation methods of the meridian and collateral system are models which can be used to master specific clinical results. And according to the information we have, it should be the first time we put, it, put forward Although it is our original summary, they have been used for more than 100 years, and people who master these three circulation theories can improve their acupuncture practice and clinical effectiveness. Part three, how do people who practice martial arts routine fight effectively on the battlefield? Meridians and collaterals in the study of acupuncture clinical usage and principles practice. Meridians and collaterals in the study of acupuncture clinical usage and principles of practice. One, Zhang and Fu organs, pathological change, should be understood through the organs, viscera and viscera, as proximal and meridians and collaterals as distant points of treatment. If, people have, if a person has a cough, this invariably reflects their lungs, which can be located using the back shoe lung point of at T3. This can have the Chi Zhe Yuan Hu point and the Tai Yuan source point, as well as the Mu point of Zhong Fu. If the person has a dry defecation or difficulty defecating, they may use the lower point, Lia Chui. If they have a cough, if they cough blood, they may use the Shi cleft point of Kong Zui. If they have lung heat, they may use the Ying point of Yu Ji. 
the lung controls qi, and it's possible to use the eight-way meeting point of tanjong. The lung has a proximal joint on the back shu, uh, proximal point on the back shu lung point, and on the front at zhongfu. The meridians and collaterals circulate to a distal point of chizhe, which is the he point, and taiyuan, which is the yuan source point, as well as special points of liachui, which is the luo point, and the shi cleft point, which is kongzui, as well as the eight-way meeting point of qi, which is tanjong. If there are heart palpitations or arrhythmia, or heart pain in the heart organ system is ill, then it's possible to select heart shoe point at T5 and pair it with Shao Hai, which is the He point, Shen Men, which is the Yuan source point, and Zhu Chui, which is the front Mu point. If there is yellow urine, the lower point of Tong Li can be used. If there is heart soreness, the Xi cleft point of Yin Xi may be selected. If the tongue is red and there is heart fire, it's possible to use the Ying point of Shao Fu. Heart controls blood and vessels, so the eight meeting point for blood, which is Go Shu, should be used. The organs and viscera all have proximal and distal points, such as with the heart, which has the Xin Shui point on the back and the Zhu Chui point on the front, as well as distal points such as Shao Hai, which is the He point, the Yuan Search point and Shu point of Shen Men, and the special law point of Tong Li and Xi Clef point of Yin Xi, as well as the meaning point of blood at Go Shu. If there is a sudden anger, ease annoyance, etc., then this is an illness of the liver. You can select the liver Shu point at T9 and pair it with the He point, Chu Chuan, as well as the Yuan source point of Tai Chong, the front Mu point of Qi Men, etc. If there's yellow skin, it's possible to treat the Luo point of Li Go. If there is liver stagnation, the Xi cleft point of Zhongdu may be treated. If the tongue sides are red and the mouth bitter, liver fire may be treated with the Ying point of Xingjian. The liver controls the sinews, so it may be treated with the Hui meeting point of Yang Lingchuan. The organs and viscera have proximal points on the back, such as Ganshu, and ones on the front, such as Qimen. The meridians have distal points, such as Chuchuan, which is the He point, Taichong, which is the Yuan source point and Shu point, and special points such as Li Go, which is the Luo point, and Zhongdu, which is the Xi cleft point, and Yang Ling Chuan, which is the eight meeting point of Sinu. If there is overturning stomach or rebellion, swollen abdomen, etc., the stomach viscera is experiencing illness, so you can first select the abdomen pu, Mu point, eight meeting point Zhongguan, and pair it with Zhu San Li, which is the He point. The Shu point of Tai Chong and Yuan source point of Chongyong, Wei Wan, Xia Shu, and T8 on T8, Wei Shu on T12. If the spleen does not transport and transform, or there is phlegm damp accumulation, one may use the Luo point of Feng Long. If there is stomach ulcer pain, one may use the Xi cleft point of Liang Chou. If there is stomach fire and bad breath, one may use the Ying spring point of Xinjian, or use the eight channels meeting point on the Chong meridian, which is the Jiao Hui point of Gongsun, uh, the upper Yin Wei meeting point of Nei Guan. The stomach has proximal points on the front of the abdomen, such as Zhongwan, and on the back, such as Weiwan, Xia Shu on T8, and Wei Shu on T12. The meridians have distal points, such as the He point of Zhu San Li, the Shu point of Tai Chong, the Yuan source point of Chongyang, the special Luo point of Feng Long, the Xi cleft point of Liang Chou, the eight meeting point of Gongsun and Nei Guan, and other Zhangfu clinical usages and point categories. Two, meridians circulate to illnesses which can be on proximal or distal points. The meridians follow the pathological change of the illness of the four limbs or trunk, joints, head, and face, five offices, and other areas. They have acupoints and meridians and collaterals which are distal and have special points with unique uses. Three, five organs illnesses require using back shoe points while viscera illnesses use front mu points. The illnesses of the five organs are typically best treated by using back shoe points. One may use shallow needling and moxa or use a lamp. They may also use the front mu points of the affected channel on the chest and abdomen, at the same time using the distal points of the channel on the limbs and their special points. The six viscera illnesses are best treated using chest and abdomen mu points, deep needling and moxa or lamp, as well as relevant back shoe points and special points on the distal aspect of the affected channel on the limbs. 
Four, you must understand the use of acupuncture and moxibustion is different from the use of herbal medicine. Acupuncture and moxibustion in Chinese medicine emerge from the same set of assumptions, but their methods of use are different and their treatment is different in their effect. Chinese medicine uses hot, cold, warming, and cooling medicines, which have rising, sinking, floating, and descending qualities to treat illnesses. For instance, huang qi and huang lian are bitter and cold. They treat upper jaw lung heat and heart heat. Shi gao uh, is sweet and cold, and it can remove middle jiao stomach heat. Huang bai is bitter and cold and can clear, her, clear heat and dry damp. It's preferable for clearing damp heat from the lower jiao. Chinese medicine has a single directional application. For instance, if there's heat, treat it with cold. If there's cold, treat it with heat. Acupuncture has a dual directional method of action. For instance, if a patient has dry defecation, we may use needles and moxa on Zhu San Li, Zhong Wan, and Tian Shu. But if there's watery defecation, we may use the same points. Acupuncture has a dual directional application. There's never been any type of Chinese herbal or Western medicine which can perform two opposite functions in the way that acupuncture does. In recent years, there have been people who have tried to use Chinese herbal concepts of cold, hot, warm, and cool to discuss the acupoints, but this is not in keeping with the central principles of acupuncture. Historical practitioners of acupuncture and moxibustion all believed that in clinic, obtaining a sensation of qi was the means by which patient ob obtained benefit. As such, regardless of whether a distal point was used or if it obtained a sensation of qi, this was believed to cause qi to return along the channel to the point of the illness. Following the meridian from a distal point made it possible to use the meridian chi of the four limbs, and then it was possible to use hand methods to fly the chi along the channel in order to arrive at the illness. This enabled practitioners to affect the chi of the entire body and adjust the chi of the body, making it stable, harmonizing yin and yang. The saying is, when chi arrives, there is benefit, explains the purpose of this type of practice. Acupuncture and moxibustion's use of dual directional adjustment in illness treatment is used relative to the condition of the, act of the patient. So if the patient is experiencing cold vacuity condition, the illness of the patient has a potential to elicit heat. If we use warming hand methods to help obtain heat, this method is called entering to tonify with fire. We may also use burning the mountain method. If the patient has heat and excess condition, it's preferable to treat them with a cooling method. So we must become good at acupuncture hand methods in order to learn to generate a cooling sensation and enter to drain or cause the entire body to ascend to the heavenly coolness. Chinese medicine, acupuncture, and moxibustion treats illness according to three major principles. Using the acupoints of the entire body, including distal special points, distal points are used differently from Western electrical anatomy or nervous system acupuncture because the distal points rely on hand methods. Stimulating the chi at the tips of the four limbs in order to elicit movement of chi to arrive at the illness, and when the chi arrives the illness, it will create an effect. This is also the specialty of Chinese medicine, acupuncture, and clinical treatment. Five. What about people who say, I do not know how to do acupuncture hand methods, why do they have beneficial effects? Nowadays, most acupuncturists take acupuncture points and perform acupuncture for about 20 minutes. Or electrified, without manipulation, the clinical effect is also effective. Why is this? Because we've already explained the effects of stimulating qi along the meridians in its principle consisting of one, universality, two, hidden, three, trending toward the disease location, four, stimulatory, five, controllable, six, effective, seven, following the meridian, eight, changing. We can see these understandings as being the modern way of viewing the use of meridians in modern acupuncture and how to achieve medicinal effects. Because of its universality and potential, acupuncture is applicable to everyone. Training disease location and effective, as long as acupuncture points on the meridian chi, there will be a tendency toward the disease and it will have a certain clinical effect without acu uh, more than without acupuncture. These rules are used these rules are used and have nothing to do with people's intention. It doesn't matter if you know them or not, whether you have mastered them or not, they're definitely empirically verifiable. Just like how leaving the front door allows people to be warmed by the sun. If we focus on following the feeling along the meridian, we can use the sim stimulation principle to behave in the same way, such as uh, grasping, separating, following, and absorbing as we use hand methods to stimulate the meridian chi. We can use the control methods, such as pressing method to close off an area in order to push it upward. And we can also use other needling methods, such as relative shallowness of the needle and do green dragon wags its tail or deep needling with white tiger rocks its head or flying the chi up the meridian to arrive at the illness. In regard to distal point selection, we can use the 
tips of the four limbs as a way to fly the chi to arrive at and connect to the joints and send meridian chi to the head, face, organs, viscera, and to adjust the entire body. When people have vacuity conditions and cold conditions, it's required to use heat to tonify. In acupuncture treatment, this creates a sore feeling, which when moved can elicit heat and tonification. It's fairly easy to create warming feelings with acupuncture needles. If an area is made hot, this is called entering fire to tonify and can be flown along the meridian so the entire body becomes hot. This is called burning the mountain. When the patient has an excess condition and heat, they must be cooled and reduced. In this case, we should use acupuncture methods which elicit numbing sensations and use cooling and draining methods uh, such as our flying method. It's relatively easy to create a cooling sensation which is called entering water draining and connecting it by flying the chi along the meridians to the entire body to ascend to the heavenly coolness. Warming tonification and draining cooling typically use moving and pushing hand methods, which require the use of intention and strength together. This can cause the interior to easily become hot, tonified, and at the same time the needle enters, and although it may not move the mind and strength from the start to end, intend for the needle to pass and enter the center. This is called pushing and withdrawing, entering and rubbing to the right to create warmth. Well, when we wish to cool and drain by turning to the outside, we can insert the needle so it does not move and then use the intent to, and strength to turn the needle outward, moving and withdrawing to the left to elicit cooling. This is enough to create sensation in the meridian through the use of hand methods, just in the same as people use the sun to warm their body. Six, acupuncture hand methods can increase clinical effectiveness. Acupuncture and moxibustion beside experience must be practiced at a high level, carefully and precisely. The ancients believed focused on uh, using hand movements to fly chi along the channels or to tonify using heat, entering fire and tonifying and burning the mountain, as well as cooling and draining, entering water and draining and descending to the heavenly cool to arrive at the result of chi arriving and having benefit. This is called high skill. The ancients believed that using needles to slowly move chi along the meridians was low level. TCM acupuncture is a discipline that combines knowledge and technology. Books are the carriers of knowledge. The mentor and teacher are the carrier of technology. The acupuncture technique is an artistic model of close integration of knowledge and technology. The key to the inheritance of the intangible cultural heritage of mankind, TCM and acupuncture, acupuncture techniques are the inheritance of technique. Any technique and skill must first practice basic skills under the condition of mastering theories and laws. Demonstration and guidance by a famous teacher and person must be and must include your own hard work to be able to achieve it. 6.1 Basics containing the spirit and practicing needle. Practicing Dantian Chi. Standing post and eight silk brocades refine the chi of the dantian and can help lift dantian chi to the shoulder, elbow, wrist, and fingers. Refining the fingers. Using the hands requires practicing needling uh, rolled tissue 250 times, needling at 90 degrees, 45 degrees, and 15 degrees at depths of 0.1 twin. One twin, one point five twin, and two twin. Needle paper two thousand to three thousand times is the amount required to achieve basic proficiency. Practicing strength on a floating apple. Set an apple in a bowl of water and practice two hundred and fifty times at angles of ninety, forty-five, and fifteen degrees. Each time with 0.5, 1 1.5, and two twin depth. In total, two thousand to three thousand insertions are required to obtain basic proficiency. Refining clever strength. After enough practice of basics, the strength of the hand will become clever. To summarize, refining Dantian Qi and finger strength, refining floating method, and then ultimately clever strength is the key to making the Qi leap from the Dantian, arrive at the shoulder, elbows, and fingers in order to guide the needle so that the strength can pass through the needle and the strength can enter, the needle can enter simultaneously. Refining the intention. First refine the finger strength, then after enough time, the feeling of the needle in the hand will change relative to the position of the chi in the meridian. After more refinement, there may be more exact feeling in the fingers, which is able to differentiate which direction the needle should move along the meridian. In this way, chi can be moved via the tips of the fingers, adjusting the needle. This can allow the chi to be controlled by the mind and arrive at the illness. This is how to obtain the skill of a person and needle as one. Teaching seven, teaching of famous teachers. Methods of practice have been created by the thinking of famed teachers. These teachers transmit and carry the tradition. 
Even though you may be able to understand the methods, it still needs time. It seems easy, but it's actually developed over hundreds of years and has been corrected for mistakes many times during that period. Practicing also requires ability, but it's no different from gaining any other technical or artistic skill. It's basically centered around your own understanding and realization. But this is based on many past generations and the leadership of talented teachers. After many years of study, it's possible to learn this art of life extension, and it's the excellent teacher and hardworking disciple who pass it along. Eight, needle stimulation and hand methods do not always have to be applied. Hand methods are not always used in every illness. Hand methods are a kind of valuable medicine, but they have specific rules under which they do not work. If we use hand methods, we must seek to obtain high level benefit. In regard to using hand methods, they're often used to obtain chi in the meridians of the four limbs. Then the chi is moved from a distal point to the illness, which may be in the five offices or organs and viscera. When the chi arrives at the illness, the body may naturally adjust itself to become level and harmonized. The yin and yang of the body, in the case one, illnesses of the five offices, two, illnesses of the organs and viscera, three, chronic illnesses which are not recovered from, or four, difficult to differentiate acute illnesses. When you use needles in this time, the patient should be treated specifically according to their illness. After a long time using normal needling without particular results, then it may be a good idea to use more hand methods. If you're unsure about the differentiation of difficult illness, you may also look for an appropriate hand technique. Picking the correct method for a specific illness is important. So for instance, if there's a cold disorder, a hot technique must be applied. If you use a cooling method, it will not be appropriate. Thus, the illness of the patient is very important. The situation of the patient is also important. So first, before picking a hand method, look at the illness pa pattern and then look at the situation of the patient. Finally, it may be possible to select the correct method. Summary. Acupuncture and moxibustion use the 12 standard meridians, lung and liver circulation to move nutritive blood through the clinical diagnosis and point selection. For instance, local, illness, local illnesses may be treated with distal points and vice versa. In order to obtain better results according to the specific situation, hand methods may be applied in order to obtain better effects. It may be possible to use Jing and Hu circulation, which moves meridian chi toward the heart. This uses different hand methods to send the chi to the illness and obtain high skill. It's also possible to treat according to the eight extraordinary meridians. After regulation of Chinese medicine and acupuncture, we should advance our methods and place in society. Canada has established regulation for Chinese medicine and acupuncture, and the Ontario acupuncture has been covered by workplace insurance. It's possible to use Chinese medicine and acupuncture to treat common illnesses uh, in the ancestral tradition, there were 52 discrete types of illness. We are very much like family doctors and should advance ourselves by introducing ourselves in this way. Chinese medicine and acupuncture is not a miracle and can't be used to treat every single illness. Today's medical study can genuinely be used to adjust the body, sometimes obtain total treatment, frequently assist in treatment, and can be used to console patients. When one first begins their practice, because patients are relatively few, you'll encounter many types of illnesses and your treatment ability will not be very high. But after a certain period of time, your experience will increase greatly and you'll be able to choose which types of cases you wish to treat. Then your ability will increase greatly and you'll come to obtain your own style. Then you'll be very good at treating illness. 10, Chinese medicine and acupuncture and moxibustion and treatment of difficult illnesses requires experience and time to refine. Homework questions. Number one, which meridians meet with the five offices? Which acupoints surround the five offices? Number two, which acupoints are located near the joints? How do they relate to muscle groups and tendons and, and so on? Number three, the lesser yang gallbladder meridian of the foot has 44 points with three lines coming from head, face, and head needles are rarely used. Why is this? Please research these problems, but please more, think more widely than this. Can you think about questions uh, for a long time and over time, you can obtain the inner teachings. Thanks for watching.